Today we're going through the tour of my gym. Over the last three years, we've invested over $100,000 in this gym. And today, we're going to show you what's inside. If you guys are new to the channel and you haven't hit that subscribe button already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I post weekly fitness content to help get the best year of your life. And if you're subscribed, you won't miss out on any of the content that I'm posting weekly. We're going to go through the full tour of this gym today. Like I said, we've invested over $100,000 in equipment in this gym over the last three years. And I'm excited to take you through the gym, give you the tour, and show you the different pieces of equipment that we have here. Before we hop into the tour, we're doing a $100 gift card giveaway for our apparel line, Fit Grind Apparel. All you have to do to enter is make sure that you hit the like button on this video and then go to the comment section and comment your favorite piece of equipment that you see here. So watch the video, pick your favorite piece, comment it, and that'll enter you for the giveaway. We'll pick a winner and you can win a hundred dollar figure out apparel gift card. Starting off here, we're kind of work, work around the perimeter. Starting off, we have our fan bikes. We have three Echo bikes and one assault bike. Obviously fan bikes are awesome, great conditioning tool that we use a lot here. In our gym, we do personal training and small group training. So with this and the conditioning pieces, you'll see we have multiple pieces of a lot of different, a lot of different choreo pieces of equipment where four bikes, rowers, treadmills, skiers, sleds, stuff like that, have multiple pieces of equipment. That way, when you're in a group setting or you're in and a couple of people have a training session going on, we have different pieces of equipment where multiple sessions can be going on in time. So we put these bullet bars in back when we first started we don't really use them much anymore unless it's for Murph, like once a year. But we just left them there for the blue logo and the blue background. It's kind of cool. Uh, coming over to the dumbbells. So with the dumbbells, we have two different types of dumbbells. We have just our standard rubber hex head dumbbells. And then we also, last year, bought the rogue urethane dumbbells. So I have a full review of the rogue urethane dumbbells. So if you're interested in those, definitely check those out. And most of the equipment that I have in here, I've done full in-depth reviews. So I freaking love gym equipment, obviously, and I love doing gym equipment reviews to give you my honest opinion on if products are good or not. So if you're interested in gym equipment reviews, I'll leave the links to those down in the description below. If you see anything that you like or that you're interested in, like I said, go watch that review. I'll leave the links in the description below. But two different types of dumbbells. On the rubber dumbbells, we have two pairs of each dumbbell, five through 50, and then they go five pound increments up to 100. On the urethane dumbbells, there's only 15 dumbbells that can fit on the rack. So we have five through 50, and then we have 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and then up to 110. So different benches that we have. So the Rogue adjustable bench 3.0, these are with our, in line with our branding. So that blue, something super cool, adjustable bench. We have a couple of different benches that we use, but these by far are awesome benches. Again, I have a review of these on my channel. Just a really solid bench and when you lay on it, you just feel the difference of like, man, this thing is sturdy. Like compared to other benches that I've used in the past, it's just, it's just an overall great bench. Has a really cool ladder style. Um, so is a really cool bench. And I like to match the, the branding and the color. This matches perfectly with our rig. So just cool to kind of match branding and your color and just give it a different unique and different spice. Rogue LP2 lap pulled out. This thing, like I said, I have a full review. I have a couple reviews actually. This thing comes fully assembled. So this thing is a beast. It weighs like over a thousand pounds or close to a thousand pounds. And the weight sack is awesome. It goes up to 300 pounds. You can do lap pull downs, a bunch of different grips, even has a low pulley where you can do low rows. So just a cool addition that you can do multiple different exercises on versus just if it's a machine that has you know, you can do one exercise with this. You can just do multiple different things. So pretty cool addition. Actually over here, they actually, we found them on Facebook marketplace. They were purple and white, and they were like, they were like planet fitness looking. We actually rest restored them. So we replaced the vinyl, got black vinyl on it. And then we actually painted it ourselves. I have a, I have a full video on that. It's pretty cool. But we got these for a steal. They were 500 bucks a piece. So that was a really cool addition that sometimes you can look on Facebook Marketplace and you can find some cool pieces of equipment that 
are in great shape and you just restore it a little bit and overall you're just you know really going to be happy with what the end product is just a really good tool to isolate the legs we do a lot of functional bodybuilding style of training to where we take aspects of crossfit take aspects of bodybuilding of powerlifting and mix them all together so having some good isolation tools like these are awesome in the gym kind of miscellaneous over here we have some other benches that we use and then ghd and then come on over here this is a piece that we recently added that has just been been awesome so this is the rogue isolato lake press i'm working on a review on this it'll be coming out soon so if you're interested in that make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that one but this is a big addition that we've been really looking forward to that we finally added me and Alyssa from the get-go were like, it'd be awesome if we had a leg press someday. We finally pulled the trigger. This was a beast to get into, so came fully assembled. We actually had to partially disassemble it to get into the door. Our doors are only 35 inches wide, so that kind of made it hard to get this piece in, but we managed to work with it. Really awesome piece of equipment. Obviously, Rogue makes best of the best to make really good equipment. What I like about this leg press specifically is it has two different foot plates, so you can do you can lock a pin together where you can go both at the same time, like a traditional leg press. You can pull the pin and you can do unilateral work. So pretty cool. Honestly, it's pretty heavy too. I, uh, I've used a lot of different leg presses in commercial gyms. And this one feels a lot heavier in general. So you don't have to load as much weights, but overall just a really awesome piece. All right. So another one of the new pieces that we got was the, they call it a pro oblique flexor. It's basically just a back extension. It was a lot of awesome good stuff that you could do with this. Good way to strengthen your core. I'll be doing a full review of this coming up soon too as well to stay on the lookout for that's but a really good tool to strengthen not only your back but also strengthen your oblique so really to strengthen everything that surrounds the spine strengthen core another piece to row the rogue t-bar row we've had this for a while actually this was an awesome piece that has a lot of different grips that you can do this has a really good design and it's one that we added a while back they were super excited to get we get a lot of use out of this Coming around to the table, we used to have a Frey Fitness functional trainer when we started. Sets have upgraded to a free motion dual cable cross. This thing is awesome. The pull is super smooth with cable. I like that it has oscillating arms, so you can move them in and out. I'm going to be doing an upload to be on this one coming up soon, because when I reviewed this one, it was one of my first videos. wasn't that good, so... We'll be doing one coming soon. A lot of stuff you can do with the functional trainer. Even in your functional training, mixing it with like bodybuilding type movements. There's a lot of good isolation movements that you can do. And especially with this specific machine, throw the cable up, down, out to the side. Just a really good way to train the entire body. Coming over here, got our fridge, microwave, speaker, and body machine. This is one that we added this year that has been a huge game changer for us here. So if you don't know what an in-body scale is, an in-body is a scale that tracks your weight, but it also tracks your body composition. So it tracks your muscle mass, your body fat, your water. And then it also calculates exactly what somebody's basal metabolic rate is. And what we do here is we build custom meal plans and custom nutrition programs for people based on their own specific metabolic rate versus just kind of guessing and giving them a blank program. So that's been awesome able to track the body composition changes for ourselves, but also for our clients and really give clients the feedback on the progress that they're seeing. So that's been super awesome. This piece, this is the one I want to highlight too as well. So when I was in high school, I kind of put together a gym in my parents' basement and, you know, I just would buy equipment over time and kind of built up to where I had a squat rack and weights and dumbbells and all sorts of stuff. I had this. And I said, when I have a gym someday, I'm going to put it up in the gym. So that's why this is here. Obviously, it's a really iconic picture. This is cool. The Conquer Arnold out to the side. It's the 1980 Mr. Olympia. But just to show you, like, having that vision of, like, if you're going to do something and you say you're going to do something, just follow through and do it. So I knew that I was going to have a gym someday, and I knew I was going to put it in there. So that's why that's hanging up above the water fountain. Come right here for those. We have two rope nine ball holders. We have a lot of different bars. The bars that I use the most are going to be the Blue Cerco Rogue Ohio bar. So this is probably one that I use the most. Other than that, I use the Rogue Chan bar. 
So that's this one back here. This one's super cool. Uh, the Chan bar has just a couple different things on it. It has a center knurling, has a cool rogue emblem and a cool samurai here. Cool end caps, black and the chrome sleeves. The other bar that I use a lot is this Vela Sergeant. No, nah, just kidding. <laughs> the other bar that I use a lot is this one, the Rogue Multi Grip Bar. This one's grip awesome, really cool grips. You can actually change out the handles. So you can see it has one straight and one angled. So I'll do a lot of bench press work. It's even cambered too, so you can get deeper stretch on your chest. And then this bar really helps improve your stability on a bench press, where a lot of times people just flat barbell bench press and they get over the dumbbells and their stability is trash. This is really, really helped for myself too to increase stability. You can do close grip with it. You can wide grip. Like I said, you can even just take an Allen wrench and change these out. So really awesome bar that I use a lot. Those are really the three that I use the most. Um, but in here we kind of just have our miscellaneous section. Got rogue well ball holders. Medicine balls, dumbbell spotters, some PVC pipes, belts, vests, all kind of miscellaneous stuff. The ray. So this is something that we added. We didn't originally have this. We didn't even have squat racks. Sorry, I started actually. We added this. Uh, the ray made something where it provides a lot of functionality for personal training, group training. It's a lot of different attachments. We got leg rollers. We got the hair gross pad. Got a dip bar. You can add rings to your pull-up bars. We even added rings up high where we mounted a climbing grip too as well. So we got an extension kit and then put a cross beam. So just the rig is awesome, especially if you have group class or you have multiple training sessions going on one time. Just a really good way to provide a lot of squat stations for people. And just the versatility on this is, is crazy. There's a lot of different things you can do with this. This is a Monster of Light rig 2.0. So if you're interested in buying a rig, that's what this version is. Obviously in the right blue color, so matching the branding with the Rogue benches, had to match the colors with mats. Got some miscellaneous boxes over here. We also have another rack over here. It's where we keep kettlebells, and then we also keep each dumbbell set of five to 50. Just if you're over here, you don't want to walk all the way over there, or if you have multiple stations going on, there's that option here too as well. Then going down the line, we have our cardio section. So with all of these, we have three to four pieces per cardio machine. So we have three Concept2 skiers. We have three Concept2 bike routes. We have four Concept2 rowers, and then three non-motorized treadmills. Conditioning is just a huge part of the thing program where we mix a lot of conditioning and mob structure workouts. A lot of times clients are coming to us with weight loss goals, or even if they're trying to build strength or muscle, conditioning in any program is super important. So we use a lot of different feet here, here, skiers, bikes, rowers, manual treadmills, echo bikes, having that torque tank, push sled. We mix a lot of those in with each program. And it's something that we, we do a lot of that's, I use a lot in my own program and a lot in my clients' programs as well. As far as treadmills, we have three different treadmills. We have two Assault Rudder Pros, and then we have a Trueform 2 as well. I have reviews of these on my channel, if you're interested in checking those out. But manual treadmills are a great option to not only not have to have electricity, but they allow you to do a lot of work with it. The run is going to feel like you're running outside. You can do interval work without having the crank of that treadmill. So just a really good addition in the pad that we use a lot in our training and even in our client's training too as well. So that is the full walkthrough of Fit Grinds. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Now, if you're ready to learn how you can eat Oreos and lose weight, make sure to watch this video next. And I'll see you guys in the next one.